All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Attack on Titan Season 4, Episode 20. Quickly, for the start of this video, I would just like to say a big shout out to Pampling.com. Um, if you're not aware who, who they are, they are an online clothing brand. Um, they do some sick uh, anime and geeky merchandise. Uh, if you've not seen me already plug them at the start of some of my videos, um, I'm wearing. Oh, one of their shirts right now. It's a cool Attack on Titan thing. And honestly, it's just very cool. Great shirt, great design. I love the art on this store. And you guys should check it out. Um, if you haven't already, uh, use code OPFANYT. That's O-P-F-A-N-Y-T. Uh, to get a free pair of socks at checkout of every order. But yeah, so it's been a while since I've uh, been around on YouTube. Um, I've been dealing with copyright strikes on my channel for the past few weeks, a couple of weeks. Um, and uh, honestly, it's 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 been a it's been quite a time. So I'm recording this on the day of Attack on Titan coming out. But whenever you guys uh, see it, I don't know. Uh, whenever YouTube decides to give me the uploading rights to my channel back. But yeah, as always, guys, I like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Is this baby Aaron? Oh shit. Doesn't look like Aaron, but then again, it's a baby, so. Okay. We're about to see some shit here, it sounds like. In, in memories, he can live out a happy life. Aaron, I, I don't know how Aaron is feeling. He kind of looks disgusted. I don't know why. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> An asshole, wow. Well, is that this whole like episode is just going to be them exploring Grisha's memories? Kenny! And this is where it happened. Oh boy. Oh, what the fuck? So he just found it but didn't do anything about it? Ooh, Zeke gets to see a different side of Grisha. Bro. <laughs> Zeke is not getting the information he thought he was going to be getting from this. And would, have actually, would it actually have ever happened then? Because the only reason it happened in the first place was because Rhino and Bertolt crashed through the walls. And there's proof that he didn't forget his first family. Yeah, exactly. Huh? What the fuck? Can you see him? What was that? What? <laughs> but he can see him? Oh shit, now Aaron wants to see what's next. <laughs> You're wasting my fucking time out here, Z. God damn. Maybe it's always been noticeable, but Mappa have, like, super stepped up this season. Like, this part of the season. Everybody looks fucking great. Bro, this doesn't even feel like... I mean, it feels like Eren, but it's like this feels a step above Eren. <laughs> I suppose, yeah. Then why don't you do it? Why can you stare at these kids? There will never be kids again. You really want to do that? And then does Zeke feel nothing for this, for what he's doing right now with that picture, or...? Did he just see Aaron? Was this the day the walls fell? I feel like I remember them picking, was it, they were picking up sticks that day? Oh, this was like Aaron's dream before everything happened, and he's always wanted to see the outside world, we know that. But like the moment the walls dropped and this happened to his family, it, his complete way of the future just changed. That's very true. 
If there's anybody more curious in the world, it's Aaron fucking Jaeger. What the f- He's like looking at Aaron. Bro, I need to go back to that episode and see what he's looking at there. Measure the, the cord and the place where all paths intersect. The time is both instant and infinite. Okay. How many times have we seen this scene now? <laughs> Ooh, that, those eyes, bro. Holy shit. Yeah, they are. What the fuck is with Aaron's face? You spitting facts, bro. Oh my god, they're a bunch of pussies. Aaron is getting, like, furious right now. Wait, have I just missed something? Hang on, what? Oh, really? Oh, shit. Oh, but we knew that from Owl, didn't we? He could, he knew who Mikasa and Armin were. <gasps> no fucking way. They finally, like, touched on this. Oh, shit, even he knew this. Bro, that's crazy. Wait, what? What the fuck? This is different. Um, what changes... Is this like altering... The past? Wait, what? It's crazy that she even stopped in this situation. Oh, <gasps> he just fucking pushed him. What the fuck? Wait, so was it Aaron who manipulated him into this situation? What? What the f flip? Oh god, body parts everywhere. <laughs> Zeke's seeing some fucking different shit now, oh, what the hell? Oh damn, yeah, that Titan's cheeked up, bro. Holy shit, this is fucking good. And oh my god! Aaron's like always been the mastermind behind this. What? She's not safe. Sorry, I'm sorry, bro. Oh shit, and now he sees him. That's fucking insane. What the hell? Oh my god, what is gonna happen? Oh my god, this is peak fiction. What the f- I don't even know what to say right now. I've got so much to process. Does he really grab him? Bro, and then Zeke's just- Wow. I don't think that's possible. Bro, he's standing there like a god. What? <gasps> no way! That was like two minutes. Alright, so that was season four, episode 20 of Attack on Titan. What? Well, I need to, I need to like process what the hell just happened. So from the sounds of it, we look back and we see in Grisha's memories that he was able to see Zeke. And at that moment when he was like, hey, Aaron, I'll show you what's in the basement. He was able to see Aaron. 
from the, that it seems what he was looking at was future Aaron. And then we see from the moments where he actually didn't want to kill um, what, whatever her name is, goddamn royal family and all those kids. And he's like, he actually, we saw here a different side to what actually happened from the story that we knew. Um, which is him actually dropping the scalpel and not actually wanting to do it. But then Aaron, apparently being the mastermind behind all of this, like, I don't get it. Has he always knew? Like, that young Aaron, did he even know? Or was it was it from when he grabbed Historia's hand? Is that when, like, all of this... Because he was different after that. Like, you could tell, even in that final episode where he was staring at the ocean, that wasn't the same Aaron. So I think that was like his like memories were were like repressed, and then like that was the moment this this was triggered and this just all set into place. That's insane. Like I knew about like Kruger, who in the past um, was talking about Mikasa and Armin, but he never really touched on it from that point. And but at that time when I first saw that, I was like my man was blown, and now to get like the reasoning behind it is like goddamn crazy that the Attack Titan has this ability. It's such a random ability to have, but like, wow, it it wraps things up tightly in the story. It makes old things make sense. That's fucking crazy. I can't wait to see what happens now. From the sound, from the look of it, what was Eren trying to double cross Zeke to then Zeke knew, knowing that Eren was going to double cross him, is now Eren like triple crossing Zeke. I guess, bro, Eren's a fucking. Giga brain, what the hell is going on? I have no idea. But yeah, um, overall a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an SSD a day and peace out.